welcome to our Facebook Live today. Uh, today we're taking a journey deep into the Peruvian Amazon rainforest to discover some of the amazing benefits of superfruit juices. And as usual, we're giving away some great prizes. So comment, let us know you're here, say hello. Uh, before we get into it, I just wanna introduce myself and our guests as well. So my name is Chrissy, I'm with Moms Meet, and today I'm joined by Mark Malardi and Jorge Lopez de Riga from Amara Mayu. Um, they both have some really great experience. I, I Every time I read about them, I'm just so, oh my goodness, I'm like, wow, you guys have so much experience. This is great. So Jorge is the Chief Sustainability Officer for Amara Mayu, and he's also a member of the America's Council of Conservation International. He's also the ambassador for the Gross National Happiness of Bhutan, and as if that's not enough, he is a Zen teacher for the Zen River Monastery in Holland and the White Plum, uh, Plum Masanga of the USA. So that is uh, Jorge, and Mark is the general manager of Marumayu USA, and his career is in food and beverage um, in the industry, and it spans for nearly 40 years, and it includes extensive involvement in market research, innovation, and new product development initiatives. So welcome, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure thank to be you. here. Thanks for thank having you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So um, before we get into it, let me just share a little bit about Moms Meet for those of you who are new today with us. Uh, Moms Meet is an online community of caregivers, so dads, moms, grandparents, really those that are trying to um, have a better, you know, better for you at life with their family, raise happy and healthy kids. Um, so you can join Moms Meet for free. And you can get connected with better for you products and brands and try them for free. So join us at momsmeet.com. And uh, the event today, as I mentioned, is brought to you by Amar Mayu. And they're such a real, they're such a cool company. I can't wait to talk to you about them. They are a mission driven business and their goal is to offer a series of amazingly health benefit, um, beneficial superfruits. And they're from the Peruvian Amazon. So um, Mark and Jorge, can you tell us a little bit about Maramayu? Yes, yeah, certainly. Again, a real, real pleasure and an honor to be here today um, and appreciate everyone who is uh, tuning in at this very time. Uh, yeah, let me give you a kind of a 30,000 foot view of Amarumayu. Um, you can think of Amarumayu as being a truly bio-commercial business. Our, our underlying mission, uh, you know, the, the products that we make available and everything we put forth has an underlying purpose. And that mission literally is to work towards the preservation of the Peruvian Amazon. Um, we have a, established a biocommercial business by which we are t um, harvesting, wild harvesting, a number of amazingly health beneficial superfruits from the Amazon rainforest and bringing them to the United States initially, ultimately to other countries in the form of a series of beverage products, special super juice or super fruit juice blends that we're making available that have amazing health beneficial properties, which we'll get into a little bit later. And importantly, the, the purchase of every one of these uh, bottles of uh, our, what we call our Amaramayu superfruit um, juices will help uh, essentially preserve the Amazon. What we're doing is, by creating a commercial market for these superfruits, we are thereby valuing the trees from which these superfruits are born in the Amazon, therefore justifying the continued existence of those trees and working to prevent the deforestation of the Amazon that has been so devastating. So in that regard, again, a truly bio-commercial enterprise with the end game being preserving the Amazon, uh, helping to fight deforestation and ultimately to help forestall, if not reverse, climate change. That's awesome. Yeah, all things that are super important to our moms, our audience, us at Moms Meet. So we love the mission behind it. Um, and the cool thing we were just talking are the, the packaging of the bottles. So um, you guys generously sent me some the other day, well, this morning. And um, so these are the bottles. They're beautiful. Uh, they come in six packs. So 
Today, we have five lucky winners who will actually get a super fruit uh, juice six pack, and you'll get these really cool passports. These are so cool. Um, it's an activity and coloring book. So inside, there's like really colorful pages, um, activities. It's The cool thing is it's not just a coloring book. It's educational, too, so your kids will be engaged. Um, so there will be five winners that will win that, so they can pick between Camu Camu, Baruti or a variety pack. Um, so we want to know, um, have you, our, our audience, have you ever tried Camu Camu or Baruti Superfruit juices before? Um, I know I haven't. I actually haven't even heard of it before I met you guys. So I'm so excited to learn more today. Um, and if you guys haven't, you know, had them or heard of it, we want to know uh, what you want to know about them. So um, comment and we'll we'll pick a question or two to uh, to ask the team later. So again, comment on, like, share the video for your chance to win. We'll announce the winners on Monday. Uh, so again, we're so excited to, to get into it and just learn more about who you guys are, about the super fruit juices. And you know, as you mentioned before, Amari Mayu is answering the call of Mother Nature um, to, and it's so important to prevent the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest fight global warming and protect the indigenous people who are guardians of the Amazon. Um, you know, a lot of times we can get in our daily daily lives and forget about the, the important causes such as these. So can you tell us a little bit more about the deforestation that's happening right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the situation of the deforestation in the Amazon jungle is, is very dramatic. Actually, mm -hmm. the statistic says that at least 17% of the Amazon basin it's been deforested. Wow. Um, if we reach 20%, this is what they called the point of no return. And then the Amazon jungle will become an African savanna, like the African savanna. So this is why it's so important to stop deforesting. Of course, also something very, 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 oh, like, for example, the drought in California and the fires in California are directly related to the deforestation and the fires in the Amazon jungle is totally, completely linked mm. because the whole planet is one and the climates are totally linked. And very interesting too uh, to know is that the Amazon receives its nutrients from the Sahara Desert. So right. the winds come through the Atlantic carrying all that sand and that sand is full of phosphorus that sand falls into the Amazon jungle and the Amazon jungle feeds itself from it. Wow. And then creates all this amazing amount of water is one fifth of all the water, all the sweet water in the planet. And that water actually is what wets California and wow. the, West Coast of United, the, the West Coast of the United States. So this is how important it is to stop the deforestation of the Amazon jungle. Yeah, for sure. I think I don't I've never knew that they were all connected that way. And I think it's so important for people to understand that because you think, OK, deforestation, obviously, it's so important to to make sure that that doesn't happen. But you don't realize the trickle effect and the domino effect that it has on everything else. Um, so and one thing, Jorge, uh, you had mentioned that you actually presented at the United Nations Climate Week and you talked about the backstory and the foundations of Amara Mayu Biocommercial Enterprise and Movement, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It was last year when when the world was normal, as they call it. Yeah. Uh, I went to New York and I presented in the New York Climate Week and uh, very important because, see, what is very interesting here is that people are not uh, cutting the forest because they're mean or because they're ignorant. Mm -hmm. They cut it because they believe that by, cut, by, by cutting the forest, they're going to get more income than if they cut, cut the forest is alive. Mm. So what we need to prove to the world is that the green gold in the Amazon, in other words, the forest that is standing, mm -hmm. the beautiful biodiversity and those beautiful trees have much more value than the yellow gold or the black gold mm -hmm. in the Amazon. So the key is that if we collect the fruits from these trees and they have a big value, nobody will dare cutting it because you're not going to cut something that right. It has a value. I mean, you don't go to your to the orchard and cut the apple trees, right? Because 
the apple trees have value. Right. So this is what we want to do here. We want to put value into these beautiful and incredible superfruits so that nobody cuts them. And of course, in order to do that, uh, you need to create a market for these product for these fruits. And that's just what we're doing here in the US. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's also really cool how Amara Mayu is working in conjunction with the Peruvian government and the indigenous people's chamber of commerce. You guys are ensuring that, you know, the sustainable harvesting of the Amazonian superfruits by the indigenous communities um, of the Amazon. So how did these two partnerships come together with, with your team? Mm -hmm. Well, this is very important because the, why the Peruvian government is involved? Because we're actually in national parks. See, and it's very interesting because when you think of national parks in the United States, you think of these beautiful, expansive areas where you go, you tell everybody out of here, okay? And then you put rangers and the park rangers take care of this place. Mm. Now in the Amazon, it's very different. The Amazon is inhabited by indigenous communities that actually have been taking care of that place for 10,000, 5,000, 6,000 years, and they've been preserving it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then what happens? Look, for example, in the area where we are, is the National Reserve of Pacaya Samiria, is 2.5 million hectares. That's, imagine Denmark, two, two Denmarks, and there is 40 pack rangers to take care mm -hmm. of this place. So of course they cannot, take care of that place. So who takes care of that place? The indigenous communities that live inside of it. So we work with the Peruvian government to empower the indigenous communities to help them do what they've always been done. Mm -hmm. That is to be the guardians of the forest. Yeah. So by giving them an income in collecting uh, sustainably the fruits from their forest, we are making the indigenous communities, the park rangers, yeah. are the ones who will not allow anybody to come in and cut their beautiful trees. Yeah, I love that. I love you use the word empower, and I love that because you guys aren't just coming in and saying, okay, this is what you need to do. We're going to do it yeah. this way. You're empowering them to do what they naturally do anyway. So that's really mm -hmm. cool. It's a good way to, to work together as a, as a team and really is a true partnership. It's not you know, a business of you guys just telling them what you want them to do. So that's really cool. Uh, so so the two juices that you have are the Camu Camu and the Baruti. Uh, Mark, are you able to tell us a little bit more about the two types of super fruit juices? Yeah, certainly. Um, we've, we've chosen these two super fruits specifically, number one, for the, uh, the abundance with which they grow in the Peruvian Amazon, and number two, for the health beneficial nature of each of these superfruits. And just in brief to give you, there's a lot of statistics we can give you, but I'll, I'll just give you a, a couple here. The Kamu Kamu superfruit is literally um, the most potent, most powerful natural source of vitamin C on the planet. Mm. Um, it has in its natural form, the Kamu Kamu has 50 times as much vitamin C as an orange. It has 60, wow. 60, 60 times as much vitamin C as a lemon. So an extremely potent source of vitamin C and therefore um, antioxidants and you know making available immunity boosting properties to the consumers of the Kamu Kamu. The Buriti um, in equal fashion has an appreciable amount of vitamin A and vitamin C. It also is rich in omegas three, six and nine. Mm -hmm. And it has minerals such as calcium, um, potassium and iron. So in similar fashion, again, um, immunity boosting properties, um, helping to build your nat your body's natural defenses. So, so in part, we, we've chosen these two superfruits specifically because they have you know, significant um, um, health defense and immunity boosting properties, which you know, during this time of COVID is, is probably more, more important than ever. Yeah. And Mark, I would add another thing about Buriti. It also has estrogens. So it's a natural female hormones. So for example, it is the natural way of uh, helping with the menopause. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. that's and it's the, practically the only fruit that does that. 
Wow. Okay, cool. So yeah. is this, so I want to show the bottle. This is the Baruti. Is this a picture? I, I can never do this backwards. Is this the picture of the fruit? Is that what that looks yeah. like? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly. Really cool. And these bottles, so this is aluminum, right? So yeah. it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's sustainable. And um, this is the Camu Camu. I love the colors too. You guys did a really great job with the branding and, and it's just really, really pretty. And they're so big too. You get a lot in here, which is awesome. Yeah, we, we, we specifically chose aluminum bottles because of reusability and yeah. recyclability. So yeah, the packaging you're showing is is a, is a 16 ounce aluminum bottle with an aluminum uh, enclosure on top mm -hmm. of it. And yeah. Once you've consumed the product, you can wash it out, you know, rinse it out with water a and little bit and, and, it's, and it's reusable. It has a long yeah. life to it. That's so cool. I love that. Um, yeah, you guys, see, it seems like you put literally every thought behind you know, building this not just to be a product just to sell, but also to help, you know, help the rainforest too, which is awesome. Um, so if, you know, if our audience is interested in trying Amara Mayu or learning more about their products, they can go to amaramayu.com and you can actually uh, purchase Amara Mayu Superfruit Juices on Amazon. Today is the first day it's live, so we're so excited. And later today, there will be a 20% off purchase for the six pack as well. So make sure you check that out. Out. Um, so we're just going to jump into a couple questions here. Um, so what is the, um, like one of our moms asked, Stacy was asking, what is the flavor like? Are they tart? Are they sweet? Can you guys give a little description about that? Mark, you want to go for that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. Um, the flavors are unique. They are unique. I would, I would classify them as exotic. And when you taste each of them respectively, the Kamu Kamu and the Buriti, I think different people will have different interpretations of what the ingredients are. You might pick up hints of what you might think are mango in some cases, of coconut, of papaya. And in essence, the way we classify them is the Kamu Kamu is more juice-like. juice, juice -like. It, it, is, it is pink lemonade-ish in terms of color. It's pinkish in color mirroring the color of the bottle that, that you've mm -hmm. shown there. It's light and refreshing. It goes down very easy mm -hmm. and literally can be consumed at any point in the day. Um, we, we, we see it as, frankly, a much better alternative uh, to orange juice in, in, many, in many respects. Mm -hmm. The Buriti, the Buriti has a, a, a much different taste, right? Similar in color, to, again, to what you're seeing represented on the bottle there. And the Buriti truly has an exotic taste there is another ingredient in there called cocona, which is another superfruit that Jorge can speak of, which gives a very interesting flavor accent to the burriti. Awesome. And the burriti is the burriti is a little bit thicker in consistency, a little bit more smoothie-like, but much more diluted than than a smoothie. And again, very very exotic and nourishing, I would say. Oh, that's and great. this is it's wonderful. Yeah, the cocona is another very potent source of vitamin C and mm -hmm. it's another Amazonian fruit. Mm. And it gives it a citrusy touch okay. to the buriti that is, I, I mean, it's a fruit from a palm tree. So it has all these omegas and everything. And, and this is why it's so special. You really cannot say uh, they are totally unique. Not only they are unique in color, not only they are unique fruits, they are unique in flavor, but all you can really say is that they taste delicious. That's all. But really, yeah. it's hard to match them with a, with a specific I, flavor. And you know, what, what? one thing that I'll mention, and Jorge can attest to this, they also make great mixers. They mix <laughs> oh, very yeah. well, mm -hmm. both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, frankly. Uh -huh. And one, yeah. one of the things we're doing is we're developing a number of recipe suggestions that we'll have available shortly on recipe cards. Mm -hmm. And one of them, for example, is a... Uh, is a, a pina burriti colada. Oh, that sounds yeah, amazing. Yeah, in, 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 the half, in the half coconut. Another one is a kamu kamu spritzer. And then we're even looking at amaru mayu pops where you would freeze oh, them. Oh, that's cool. And freeze yeah, them yeah. And, and have them as ice creams, exactly. Yeah. Right. And, and yeah. it's very interesting because the interesting thing is that they have no sugar added. Uh -huh. So you have the natural sweetness of the fruits and, 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 of the, and they are 100% use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, we'll have to do another Facebook Live where we do a happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, so what was the motivation behind it, uh, starting Amara Mayo? Well, I mean, 
truly the motivation was, see, you got what I call the companies from the Industrial Revolution. And the companies from the Industrial Revolution, they were there to satisfy the needs of the consumers. You know? By the way, they turned human beings into consumers. And, you know, we're supposed to consume, consume, consume. Of course, we consume, 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 and we deplete not Mother Nature. Sure. So, yeah. Amarumayu is born under the natural revolution. And the companies of the natural revolution are there to satisfy the needs of Mother Earth. But, hey, all of you are mothers, and you know what's good for the mother is good for their children. Mm -hmm. So, because you're satisfying the needs of, of Mother Earth, you're satisfying the needs of the humans. And that's why uh, this was the real motivation. And what do Mother and Earth need to do in Peru? Well, mm -hmm. Peru is the second country with more Amazonian jungle in the world. Mm -hmm. So what really Mother Nature needs to do in Peru is to stop deforestation. Mm -hmm. So we are picking up the call of Mother Nature to protect the Amazon jungle. Yeah, that's great. Well, and so I guess, Mark, this question would, this next question would be for you of, of you know, what inspires you to become a part of Amara Mayu? You've, you've literally given your blood, sweat and tears for this. And, <laughs> and, and obviously, you know, you, you're passionate about it. So what inspired you to become a part of it? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question. Um, in, in my prior life before um, joining Amara Mayu, um, I was with a company called New New Hope Network. They they are the they are the organization that owns and operates the very large natural product expos, Expo mm -hmm. East and Expo West, that many people in the natural and organic products uh, industry typically attend. And in that capacity, uh, with New Hope Network, um, I came into contact with, with Jorge. It's probably about five years ago now. Um, and at that point in time, you know, Jorge introduced me to the vision the concept, the underlying mission, you know, the gravity of it, the, the gravitas of it. And I was, frankly, very quickly drawn to the entire premise and, again, to the underlying mission. So I operated um, in a, a, a client um, vendor capacity with um, Arumayu for a number of years where we did much of the um, U.S. market assessment as to what the commercial potential was of these superfoods, Kamu Kamu and Buriti, in the U.S., we did a lot of original market research with consumers, with distributors, with retailers regarding the demand that we could see for these products. So over the course of several years, we worked. I worked with Amaru Mayu, again, in that client vendor capacity to help them understand the real potential of this and really to move to start to move down the path of commercialization. And then earlier this year, um, I left New Hope Network and very shortly thereafter was was just honored and blessed, frankly, to uh, be brought aboard as the, the general manager of Amara Mayu U.S. to spearhead, you know, the entire operation here in, in the States. And, you know, one, one thing I want to add, and this was a this was enlightening to me. It was a major point of learning for me. And, and the gravity of what I'm going to say next was one of the things that really drew me in. And I don't think we've mentioned it here thus far. The importance of preserving, protecting, defending the Amazon and preventing deforestation, it, go, it goes beyond just the horror of all those trees being brought down. The reality is, and this is a fact, beneath the Amazon, beneath this, the, the, these millions of hectares of trees that we are now defending, the largest carbon reserves on mm -hmm. planet Earth are sequestered beneath the Amazon. And, and if you think about it, all those trees, all those years, all the fertility and the, the um, yeah, as trees would decay and leaves would go into the soil, running 20 odd feet deep in the Amazon under those trees is carbon. Mm. So what literally happens is not only are you deforesting and, and creating literally forest fires as we've seen all around the world, the ground itself under the Amazon burns because it's that carbon laden. And then even worse, what happens is that carbon then that was sequestered, the trees are gone, it's released into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So that the, 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 if, if that deforestation continued along the lines of what Jorge was articulating earlier, we would get to a point where literally the Amazon, the ground would be burning and the release of those carbon emissions would be catastrophic in terms of advancing 
global warming and climate change. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to add that because it's another bedrock premise for why we're doing what we're doing and what drew me to the entire biocommercial enterprise. Yeah, and and I don't think that people know they. I, I mean, I, I know myself. Like again, I mentioned before, I know the importance of keeping our rainforest, but I don't think people just understand fully the, the catastrophic things that could happen from it. And I think it's really cool that you guys are just creating a need for the Amazon, um, to, you know, to harvest these fruits and turn it into super fruit juices. So, um, can you tell us why Amar Mayu chose Camu Camu and Baruti for the juices? We actually had a mom ask, why have people not heard of the fruits before? So, uh, mm -hmm. it would be really cool to hear what, what drove you to choose those two fruits. Well, the reason, I'm gonna ask both questions. The reason uh, why, um, uh, why we chose these two fruits is because when we got in contact with the uh, Ministry of Environment, Secretary of Environment of, Una of Peru, we told them, look, as a company, we want to preserve the Amazon. What can we do? And, and what area? And they said, look, there is this area called uh, Abanico del Pastaza and the National Park of Bacaya Samiria that is the largest, one of the largest wetlands in the world. And in this area, Camu Camu and Buriti grow. They are super fruits. And if you make drinks out of these, of these fruits, uh, then you will be preserving this area. That's why we chose these fruits. And once again, because it's good for Mother Nature, it's good for humans. And of course, they are the most beneficial fruits I mean, they are, that's why they're called super fruits, no? Mm -hmm. and, and of course, what is very important is that by preserving these fruits, we preserve this area. And the reason you haven't heard of them is because literally the buriti has never been put in a bottle before. So wow. this is really a unique situation where you're gonna taste a drink that is for first time in this probably 30,000 years, 50,000 yeah. years of history has never been put in a bottle. So that's why you never heard of them before. So, you know, the Spanish went to the Amazon looking for an El Dorado, no? And they were looking for the gold. And of course they didn't find it because yeah. the gold was in the trees. Mm -hmm. It was in these beautiful super fruits and they missed them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I feel so honored that I get to have one of these bottled uh, Baroudian super, <laughs> super fruit juices because, you know, it hasn't been tasted in a long time. So I'm really excited to try it. Um, so and thank you guys both so much for being here today. Um, I know I learned a ton just from talking to the both of you. And we're just so, so excited to have you a part of Moms Meet in the community. You know, our moms share a lot of the same sentiments that you do about just preserving the earth and um leaving it better than you know what we're currently doing so uh to our audience we want to know what you found most interesting from our discussion today and definitely keep sharing your thoughts and questions in the comment section um there are team members from amara mayu who are answering questions as well so they'll get back to you on uh on your questions and again if you're interested in trying amara mayu head on over to amaramayu.com and you can also go to Amazon and uh, purchase the Amaramayu super fruit juices. And later today, I think I mentioned before, later today will be that 20% off discount of the six pack. And uh, thank you guys so much again for joining us. Um, you, you provided some great information. Um, one thing too, I wanted to mention were the really great videos that you guys have too. Um, I know in this, in this passport book, there's little QR codes, Jorge and Marco just telling me, there's little um, QR codes that you can scan and it'll bring you to different educational videos. They're also on your YouTube channel. You can check them out. Um, so definitely take a minute to, to visit their website, learn more about them. And again, thank you, Mark and Jorge for joining us today. And remember- I wanted to add a very yeah. quick thing because sure. we forgot. Sure. Why Amarumayu? Amarumayu is the original name of the Amazon River before the Spanish came. Amaru is a, a serpent, Amayu is river. So it's the serpent river because it all goes like this. So it's the river of life. And yeah. that's what Amarumayu means. It's the original name because Amazon, Amazon actually is a Greek name because when the Spanish came into the Amazon, probably you have this 
a woman who was throwing spears and arrows at them, and they call it the river of the Amazons, the woman warriors. But the original name in Quechua is Amarumayu. That's the name of the Amazon. Very cool. Yeah, I'm looking at the side of the, the six pack here too. It, it explains that as well. That's, that's right. And I finally have mastered the name, so I feel like a pro. <laughs> well, thank you both so much for joining us and thanks to our moms for joining us today. And remember to keep liking and commenting and sharing for your chance to win. We'll announce the winners on Monday. Have a great day, everyone. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you.